Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my October empties. Now we are a little ahead of the end of the month because my basket is overflowing with stuff and honestly cannot fit another thing. It already is too full. So we're just gonna go ahead and do the October empties before the end of the month. I might finish off like one more body care item, um, but I'll update you guys in my project use it up if I do end up finishing up something before the end of the month. So yeah, I have a ton of empties to show you guys. I assume this video is gonna be a little longer than we're used to so for empties. So grab a snack, chill out, grab some tea. Kai is also with me. He's really not feeling it today. So I had to get him to come on the the bed because he was just not having it so he's gonna be sitting with us today but anyways let's go ahead and get on into the empties you guys there's honestly so much that i can like barely take it out so let's start with candles because i feel really good about the candles that i used this month i used up four full-size candles so we're gonna start with the white barn bath and body works candles so this is a white barn champagne apple and honey i really love this scent um Mine, I must have had a weird batch though because it kind of smelled plasticky. And one of you guys commented to use it in a um, candle crock to finish it up. I didn't actually get to do that because it finished before I even realized it. So this one finished off really easy, but I do love this scent. It is crisp apple, sparkling champagne, and jasmine honey. I've been getting this every fall since it came out, I think in 2020. Um, it's such a beautiful sparkling apple scent. Perfect to like start off fall and I did finish it up I think at the beginning of October. So it was a really great September into October scent and I really loved it. The next one I finished off is the banana walnut muffin. Now I know this is like a cult favorite but honestly I couldn't care for it. I really didn't like it that much. The notes are sweet banana, golden nutmeg, cinnamon sugar muffin. I don't know if I really got a lot of banana. It was just like a super cloying gourmand um, bread kind of scent to me. I guess muffin a little bit, but I really didn't get banana. It was just like a super spicy muffin cake type of scent and it was a little too spicy for me, so I didn't love it. And I believe this is from 20, 2021, so it's from last year. Not my favorite, definitely won't repurchase, but I'm glad that I finished it. The next one I finished is from Homeworks in Mochaccino Crumb Cake. I really enjoyed this scent. The notes are vanilla crumb cake, mocha latte, cream and caramel, and powdered sugar. So this one, I was burning pretty much every single morning in October. It was so good. It burned down super clean. Um, maybe a little bit of sitting, but like really a little bit amount, not a lot at all, like a two out of 10 on sit. But it was a really nice scent. I definitely would say it's not heavy on the coffee, which is what I was looking for. It's more heavy on the crumb cake, like vanilla crumb cake, creamy caramel and powdered sugar. I didn't smell any powdered sugar. And then the mocha latte was like an after effect. It wasn't that strong on that one, but it definitely was like a crumb cake scent. It was really good. I would say like a six out of 10 on throw. So a little stronger, but not like super strong. And it was really nice. Um, and the next one I have is hot cider donut also from Homeworks. This one was a killer. Oh my God, this one was so good. The notes on this are harvest apple, cinnamon sugar, vanilla bean, and spiced cider. The next time they have a sale, either on these three wicks or at Ulta for these, I'm gonna pick another one of these up. It was so good. Look at this beautiful burn, no soot whatsoever. Gorgeous, gorgeous burn, like super hot burner. I would say like seven or eight out of 10 on throw. Like it was pretty strong, beautiful scent, smelled just like cinnamon sugar donuts with like a slight bit of that apple cider, but really not overly cidery. Um, I would say it's more donut heavy than cider. That's like a, again, like an after effect. So. This was such a good scent and I really, really loved it. It was a beautiful burn and I will definitely repurchase it. Okay, let's go through some hand soaps because I did go through three. So I did get through Ghoul Friend. Really liked this scent. It was Dark Strawberries, Ghostly Peony, and Spines Chilling Citrus. Uh, basically just a strawberry scent, nothing special, but it was nice whenever I used it. I think I used it up, like I started it in September and I finished it in October. So it was really nice and I just love the packaging too. It's really pretty. The next one I finished up is Marshmallow Fireside. I adore this scent. I get it every single year, um, either in the candle or in some other form. The notes are toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, and fire roasted vanilla. Just a classic scent. 
so so yummy and i think this was going downstairs in our like um like kitchen bathroom section of the house the I don't even know what to call it. And this one was going in like our guest bathroom. So it was being used a lot by guests. And I feel like it's a good scent to have like, to please everyone pretty much. It was a really great scent. And then I also finished off Fall Citrus Harvest. This one was downstairs in Ryan's office. That's where I wash my hands every time after Kai goes to the bathroom and we do wipe his bum to keep him a clean boy or else we would not let him up on the bed. We clean his paws and his bum every time after he comes in from doing his business, but y'all didn't need to know that. But yeah, so basically I use this soap a lot, the one that's downstairs. The notes are zesty lemon, mint leaves, and thyme. Um, it was like a really nice, just like citrusy, clean, fresh scent. I liked it. I definitely wouldn't say that it's like exclusively a fall scent, but it was really good, so. And you guys are gonna like this. I finished up a lot of body care this month. So let's start off with the EOS uh, Shea Butter Shave Cream in Vanilla Bliss. This one, it still has like a little bit at the bottom, but I don't really feel like pulling it all out or opening it up or cutting it or anything to try and get to the last little bit because it wasn't that great. I really didn't like this that much. I like the Squeezy Tube EOS Shave Cream better. I just wanted to give this one a try and I have to say I didn't like it. I did finish off two minis. So I finished off the Warm Vanilla Sugar Body Lotion. I got this for Christmas last year actually. Um, and I just finally finished it off on the couple of trips that we took in October. And then also finished off Strawberry Pound Cake in the Shower Gel. Two staple signature scents, just really nice and easy and good scents that I would always repurchase. So those are those two. And then I finished off a full-size body lotion in Cinnamon Donut Swirl. I literally finished this last night, you guys. So happy. So the notes are sweet cinnamon, brown sugar, and fluffy dough. Um, this one is nothing special, but it was really nice. Honestly, yeah, it just smells like warm like warm donuts, I would say. Yeah, just like warm donuts. And I, the more I used this, the more I liked it. So I probably would repurchase it just because I feel like it's like a non-offensive scent, if you know what I'm saying, like it goes with anything. So any scent that I would wear on top of it as like a fragrance mist, it would go with it. So I did like it. Um, nothing to write home about. It was not amazing, but it was really good. Now, if you wanna talk about amazing, I did finish off the Sweet Whiskey Celestial Body Scrub. This was so fun to use. I love this formula. This is the first time I've ever used the Celestial Scrub. It was gorgeous. The notes are Golden Amber, Vanilla Infused Liqueur, and Sweet Red Berries. They did bring out Sweet Whiskey again this year, but this is 2021's packaging. I really like this scent. It's like a super fresh and clean scent. Um, again, non-offensive, like anyone would like this scent, I think. It is just like a super basic, berry it's really not even that berry i think the amber is really like what stands out in this for me so i definitely would look for this at sas if they have the scrub again or maybe even like shower gel i would pick up sweet whiskey again but not for full price i don't think but i love this celestial scrub so i'm definitely gonna have to pick up another thing in this formula because it was so nice super smooth like non-abrasive really soft i use it almost every day it was not like super harsh or anything and it left me like feeling really moisturized. So I love this. All right, let's talk about some wax. I didn't finish off a ton, but I do have a few more that I might finish off in the next couple of days before the end of October. So we'll see about that. But I did finish off Halloween Town. So happy to have finished this one. It's like the perfect time of year. I actually have this going downstairs in my kitchen right now. It just smells like candy, like Halloween candy. Really, really yummy. I do love this scent. I definitely would repurchase. I have the Bring Back My Bar Peppermint Dreams, also from Scentsy. Literally love this scent. It smells like peppermint hot cocoa. It is so good. Oh my God, I would totally repurchase it. And I didn't even realize that I had put it in this morning, but I was smelling it throughout my house. And it's in my, so for reference, I live in a three-story townhome. So I put this in my bedroom warmer on the third floor. And I was smelling this on the second and the first floor. Yeah, I was like, oh, do I have a peppermint candle going? right now no it was the wax so that's insane how strong this was but it's an amazing scent so yummy so definitely recommend totally would pick it up again if they bring it back out it was only available i think in the summer clearance so and then last scentsy wax that i finished off is the honey pear cider um this one was all right not my favorite i'm realizing now that i don't really like pear scents but yeah it was just like a really exactly how the notes describe it or how the 
the name describes it, honey pear cider scent. That's exactly what it smelled like. I just don't like pear. Okay, the biggest stuff in here is a bunch of hair care that I finished off. So let me just go through that. I have the Joyco Moisture Recovering Moisture Recovery Moisturizing Conditioner. That is a mouthful. So this is what I use. Both me and Ryan use this in the shampoo and the conditioner. It is amazing. I've been using it for years now. If you have a dry scalp or psoriasis or eczema on your scalp, definitely recommend trying this out. And I got it from TJ Maxx for $19.99 and I've already repurchased it. This is my holy grail. And Ryan finished off the Tresemme Mega Firm Control Hairspray. So he finished that one off. I can't take credit for this one, but look how big this, this bottle is. I wonder how many years he had that for. Another Ryan finished product, the Chi Infra Texture Dual Action Hairspray. So we got this one actually at TJ Maxx for $8 on clearance. So really good deal for some Chi product, but he did not like it. And then I also finished off the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair deep conditioning mask. I don't think this did anything for my hair. It's like 30 something dollars and I don't think it did much for my hair and it only lasted me a few months because I have super thick, coarse, wavy hair and I have to use a lot of product in my hair when I wash it. So I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this and I haven't. I repurchased, I mean, I purchased a different type of hair mask. I can't even remember what it is, but I think it's Amika is the brand. But yeah, I did not like this. It might work better for people who have not as thick hair as I do. Um, I don't know if it's recommended for a certain hair type, but yeah, I don't think it did anything for my hair. Also finished the Love Beauty and Planet Sulfate Free Shampoo Scrub. You guys know I use one of these like every two months. This is amazing. I alternate. Every time I wash my hair, which is like every three or four days, I alternate between just regular shampoo conditioner and a shampoo scrub and a, a hair mask. So that's how kind of like my little hair routine, but love this stuff. Absolutely love it and continue to repurchase it for like two years now. I do have one little mini replica perfume in Autumn Vibes that I did finish off as well. Just like a little small one. It smelled really good. It smelled exactly like if you were running through a pile of leaves, I don't know how else to describe it, but it was like the perfect fall scent and I wore this to go to the pumpkin patch and it was really, really nice. I think I am gonna ask for a little set of replica stuff for Christmas. So hopefully I'll get this one back in my life. I did finish off two little wallflower bulbs. So right now in the bathroom, I have a Wicked Vanilla Woods going and it replaced, let's see if I can smell which one this was. Oh, I think this was Honey Crisp Apple. Yeah, Honey Crisp Apple was really nice in the bathroom and now I have Wicked Vanilla Woods, which is like totally perfect because it is like the perfect unit. Sorry guys, I like started choking there, oh my God. Um, anyways, Wicked Vanilla Woods is the perfect scent to go in me and Ryan's bathroom because it's like unisex, soft and sexy. Like I kind of like it. I might pick up Wicked Vanilla Woods at SAS too. We'll see. And then this one, is downstairs in our entryway. I have pumpkin clove going currently, and I believe it replaced a uh, warm apple pie, which was also so yummy down there. I love putting like bakery scents right when you walk in, or pumpkin clove really just because it's Halloween time and it's like perfect, but those two scents were absolutely amazing. Finished off some skincare. So Ryan has been using the Cause RX pimple patches. These are great, totally recommend them if you have little like cystic pimples that pop up every now and then. These are great. I finished off the EcoTools Makeup Brush Shampoo. I gotta repurchase a, a brush shampoo because I just washed my brushes for the first time in quite a few months. Don't ask me how long because it was definitely too long. Um, but yeah, I finally washed them all and I ran out, so I gotta buy a new one. I also finished up the Degree Advanced Deodorant and Coconut and Hibiscus. This is a fun scent to try. I liked it. All right, we're almost to the end, guys, I swear. So I also finished off the Mini Rare Beauty Mascara and I absolutely love this. This kind of wand that's like fibery and feathery is like my favorite type. So I did get this in a set from Sephora where you can go back and get a full size. I think I'm gonna go back and get the full size Rare Beauty mascara because it was amazing. And then I've got some skincare products and we're done. So I did finish off the Mary Kay Clinical Solutions HA Ceramide Hydrator. It's a hyaluronic acid serum. Really love this. Um, I think I already did repurchase it. Or no, I have a, um, a Glossier hyaluronic acid serum that I'm using right now and then I'll repurchase it. I also finished off the La Roche-Posay Effaclar Clarifying Solution. 
So this one's good for after you like pick at acne or you have some that you want to get rid of. This does a really good job at drying stuff out. So definitely love this one. And the last thing that I finished off for the month of October is the Laneige Lip Slipping Mask in Grapefruit. It is totally empty. It's so weird to see this thing empty. But there it is. And I think I did get this from TJ Maxx. It lasted me about a year. And I just repurchased one in the berry scent. So if that tells you anything, it's definitely worth the price. And I really do love this stuff. I kind of want the peppermint one that came out for the holidays. Still thinking about getting it. So yeah, that's everything. Now I have it all laid out on my bed. That's everything that I finished up in October. So much stuff, tons and tons of hair care. Like, I don't know what happened this month, but I just like finished off all my hair care at once and a lot more body care than I usually finish off. So doing really good. I definitely think I'm gonna finish off a few more things in November as well as I'm like wrapping up my fall project use it up and going into the winter. So I'm really excited about that. But yeah, that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below something that you are really looking forward to using up in November. I'm super excited to hear from you guys. Are you transitioning into Christmas already? Let me know. I don't judge you. I'm not judging you. I swear, I'm already watching Christmas TikToks, so I don't judge you. But yeah, let me know down below what you're looking forward to most using in November, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.